Uh, today we got a real good opportunity to uh, to finish off some of the work on the Benelli. The baby is away for the day, and Grandpa's free to play, and it's a perfect painting day. So the first little step here, I just very lightly with thousand grit paper sanded, just knocked off all the uh, the edges. I'm ready to put the final coat of the two part green on. And maybe uh, if the day holds out the way we want, get some clear on this today too. Now this, we really ran it tight on paint. I always like to have a little more touch up paint left over than this. But let's hope Vlad doesn't uh, scratch it or some way that we'd have to touch it up. But you can see how thin the top coat is. All that's left really is to put the top coat on. Let it dry about 20 minutes. Yeah, even if we take, see, Vlad had to buy some extra paint. We kind of ran out, but uh, it looks like we'll just have enough. Boy, I'm, I'm hoping we do anyway. Uh, you probably couldn't have a better day for painting here. And I have just, just lightly, ever so lightly sanded this. This is the top coat of green. And this just slightly changes the color. But I have the original parts to match it to. Once I'm happy that it's matched, I'll put some clear on it. And if I'm in doubt, I'll pull it. Let Vlad make the decision. Because this candy apple paint can really be tricky. And this color just changes it ever, ever so slightly. But enough that you would notice it. I would notice it anyway. And it is absolutely beautiful. When this has the clear on it, it's, it's spectacular. It's what you would expect when you pay 20000 plus for a motorcycle. Now we got to get three coats of this on. I want to vary the spray pattern. Let it sit about 20 minutes or so between coats, even though when it's heat, it's going to dry real quick. And we're pretty much ready to devote the whole rest of the day to getting this, this project out of here. Karen says, get it done. Well, I brought the other panel out. It looks like the color is really, really close, but we're really never going to know until we actually have the, the clear on and the clear dried and then the clear buff. So we still have a little little ways to go before we can be very certain about the uh, the color match. Hmm, it looks good so far. Okay, all three of the coats are on here, and I think we've got it pretty well where it should be. I think that's going to be really close, really, really close. Anyway, it's time to just let this sit out 20 minutes, have a cup of coffee, and we'll get the clear sprayed. And this is the brand that cleared it. We've had real good luck with lately. And since we're having such good luck with it, we're not going to get too experimental about this. We want to get two coats on about 20 minutes apart. First coat of clear going on. And what's going to happen in this heat, it probably won't take 20 minutes. To, it'll tack up to where you can put your finger on it without putting a fingerprint. It'll be ready for the second coat. You see what a really nice color this is. This, And I think we got a perfect match here. 
but it really that really is a spectacular color and when that's all buffed out wow that's gonna look spectacular Boy, we are just just have the best day for doing this. Absolutely. Now that paint should lay down like magic today. It's really a, just a beautiful day. As the day has gone by, the wind is kicking up. This one we don't want. Now this piece has all the clear on and the next thing is I got to set up how I'm going to have this dry in the garage. I don't want to get any dust in it, I don't have to, it just makes the buffing out just a little bit more work. But, but we have used the better part of a really good day for painting. And I know Vlad appreciates this. I really think he's going to be happy with this. Now I just wanted to look at this all in the sunlight before I put it in the garage to dry. It's got to dry a few days anyway before we uh, do any buffing or sanding or anything, but I think, wow. This is the kind of paint, this job was very frustrating. I know for Vlad it was frustrating too. Required a lot of extra sanding and paint removing and acetone and everything that possibly we could learn from it, but in the end, I think we, uh, we have a pretty nice product here, and I hope Vlad likes it as much as I do. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.